Hello, and welcome back to another edition of Easy Theory. So today we're going to be looking at this question, which is how many possible DFAs are there with three states and unary alphabet? So by unary alphabet, we mean that there's a single character in the alphabet. In this case, it's zero. So what we can do is we can figure out how many possible DFAs there are. So for three states, well, what are the possible things that we can do? Well, we have eight possibilities for which are final, right? Because we have two to the three here, and it's all possible subsets of the states. And since there are three states, the number of possible subsets is two to the number of states, which is three in this case. So how many possibilities for what the start state are? Well, the start state can be in any one of the three possibilities. So three possibilities for the start state. And what else can we do? Well, what are the possible ways of sending a transition? Well, for each state, we have only a single transition that it could go to another state because the alphabet is unary. So that means that for each state, we have three possibilities of where the transition can go. So since there are three states, that's three to the power of three. And then we can calculate what that total number is, but it's a gigantic number. So it's 24 times 27, whatever that is. I can't do it in my head. So this is all fine and dandy, but what we want here is, well, suppose that we have these two DFAs. So, so this one right here, this one has no final states. And let's say this one that also has, let's just say that this one is a final state, but is not reachable from the start state. Well, in both cases, we have that the language is the empty set because the first machine doesn't accept anything since there are are no final states to start with. And the second one does have final states, but they can't be reached. So therefore, uh, it can't accept any strings. So what we want to figure out is not the possible DFAs, but the possible languages. And in this case, regular languages. What are the possible regular languages? Are there with DFAs with three states? So these two would be considered equivalent. So here we're going to call them equivalent DFAs if they have the same language. So what we can note off right off the bat is if every state is uh, not final, the language is empty set. That, that's pretty clear. And if every state also reachable from Q0, the start state, if every state that's reachable from Q0 is not final, then the language must be empty. So we're going to now assume that some final state is reachable from the start state Q0. So what, what can we do? Well, let's just say that we have only one possible state we could reach from Q0. So one state we can reach from Q0. Well, that's just Q0 itself. And because there's only one state we can reach from Q0, then the other two states just don't matter. So the and because there's only one state that we can really reach, which is ourselves, we must have a self loop. And that implies that there are only po two possible DFAs here. So again, we will have the language of the first one being empty. And then the second one will be, oops, this one needs to be final. And the second one will be sigma star because it accepts everything because the alphabet is only consisting of zero. So now let's assume that we can reach another state from 
uh, Q0. So two states we can reach from Q0. Well then, let's see, well, we could have both states be uh, non-final, which means that no matter what the transitions do, if both states are no non-final, and that implies because we can reach the second state from the first one because we're not in the first condition anymore, which means we must have a transition like this, but the second state could have a self-loop or go back to the first state. But in either case, that this language is empty because no, neither of the states is final. So, um, yeah, although we are, I did assume this, let's just go ahead and let's consider all cases anyway. So, well, what else could happen? Well, we could have something like this, where the start state is final, and we have a zero going to a non-final state that loops on itself. And in this case, the only string that is accepted is the empty string, which is not the empty set. Remember, empty set is not equal to the set containing the empty string. Well, what else can happen? Well, we can have the almost exactly the same scenario where we go over to the, the second state, but then the second state comes back. And in this case, it's all the even length strings. So this is a zero to the two i where, not n, where i is at least zero. So all the even length strings, which is pretty cool. Uh, well then, we handled all the possibilities of the start state going to the second state and at least one state and the first and the start state being final well let's consider the case of where the start state is not final must go to a second state that is final because if the second state weren't final then we would be in the first case again so let's consume this case well then that means we could have a self loop here which means that we're going to accept all strings of length at least one so another way we can phrase this is it's sigma star take away the empty string. But we notice that there's a connection between these two in that they are complements of each other. So remember, regular languages are closed under complement. So if we have a DFA for a particular language, um, and then we flip the, the final and non-final states, we will also get a DFA for the complement of that language. So that's the one possibility. And the other possibility is that we uh, do something very similar to the third machine we have here, the one on the upper right right here. What we could do is we can just go over to the second state and then go back. And this will be the complement of this language right here. Because we're just, it's exactly the same machine except we're just flipping the final and non-final states. So then those are the only possibilities where exactly one state is final. But if both states are final, then no matter what we do, whether this one self loops or goes back, whichever one is the case, we must accept everything because we will never get to a final state that is, uh, we'll never get to a state that's no longer final. So this must be sigma star also. And as you might suspect, there's a connection between these two because one is a complement of each other. Cool. So then now let's consider the case of where three states are all reachable. And Let's try to whittle down the cases. So if zero are final states, then, and all states are reachable. So every state's reachable from the start state now. So if zero are final, then the language is empty. If all three are final, then that means we get sigma star because no matter what state we go to, there are only three and we can reach all of them. All of them are final, so we must accept everything. So. What about if we have two are final? Well, this is just the complement of some one state final 
DFA. Because if I have uh, three states and two of them are final, complement the final and non-final states, well then I'll achieve some one state final DFA and the, it, actually the complement of that a DFA's language is what I meant. So let's consider the one uh, state final cases. So we have a start state, let's just assume it's the start state, uh, I mean the final state. We have three states, all of them are reachable. So maybe we have something like this, where uh, we, both of the other two are no longer final and we, and, yeah, and we therefore will only accept the empty string, but we've already covered that case. We could have the case of where this guy comes over here, but that's still the empty string. We could have something like this that comes back here, but then again, that's, that's um, also the empty string. So let's consider um, where we actually are able to come back to the start state. So because no, if we can't come back to the start state and it's the only final state, we can only get the empty string. So let's just assume we can do something like this. Well, then this is a new language, which is all the strings of length uh, three, uh, a multiple of three. So zero to the three i, where i is at least uh, zero, because we can get the empty string also. Um, what else could we do? Well, since there's only one transition, this is the only possibility with the start state being final that we could ever get. We can't get to it. We can't have the zero be redirected somewhere else and come back to the start state because there's only one transition allowed per state. So the variations of this machine, what else can we do with this? Well, we could just make a, an, a different state being final, say this one. Well, then this is all the strings of length a multiple of three plus one. So this is zero to the three i plus one, where i is at least zero. And we can do something similar where we do the second state down here being final. And this is zero to the three i plus two, where i is at least uh, zero. And there's one other possibility that we can do with three states. We could do something like this where we have, yeah, oops. So if we have, say, we accept a single zero, which goes to this state, this one comes over here to a non-final state, which, um, which self loops. And then, so the language of this one is just zero and nothing else. And what else could we do? Well, what we could do is we could try to do something similar to this one which is we're going to add on the empty string. And uh, what else could we do? We can have this state being final and then self loop on zero, but then that would have two states. So we could there be, but we can also do this, which is every string, but not the, um, actually, no, never mind. So if we just have that second state, the third state on the right being final and the first two being no longer final. Well, what we can get is sigma star, I should put transition label. So sigma star take away epsilon and zero. And those are the only possible cases because we can only have one transition per state. So what is the final list? So the list of all possible languages with uh, three state DFAs. And so what are these? So it's uh, sigma, uh, sorry, empty set. We can have sigma star as always. We could, well, but that's just the complement. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to list all languages um, that are not complements of each other. So we can have the empty set. We could have uh, just the empty string. We could just have a single zero. We could have 
uh, Epsilon and Zero, which is basically this machine, but complemented. Uh, what I'm going with smaller languages first. And then the fifth one we could have is all even length strings. So zero to the two i, where i is at least zero. We could have zero to the three i, where i is at least zero. We could have zero to the three i plus one, where i is at least zero. We could have zero to the three i plus two, where i is at least zero. And in fact, those are all the cases along with their complements. So, and their complements. And you can actually notice here that no two languages on this list are the same in terms of, well, they're, they're not the same, but they're also not complements of each other. And so therefore, the total possible languages are 16. So there are 16 possibilities because the eight aren't complements of each other and they're not the same. So their complements aren't the same and they are not complements of each other. So therefore there are 16 total possibilities of DFAs with three states and a single alphabet character. So I hope that was interesting. Let me know if you found it a different way. As always, leave a comment to help support the channel as well as smash the like button. And as always, I'll see you next time.